Today we're going to make an almond milk tea using powder. Welcome to this special series on how to make milk teas using bubble tea shop ingredients in the comfort of your own home. There are numerous resources online that you can buy bubble tea supplies, either in a large amount for a bubble tea shop or in a small amount for home use. I'll be sure to put all of the ingredients in the description below. So let's get started. First, we wanna get our tea brewing. We want a strong black tea base brew. You'll put one tablespoon of loose leaf black tea into six ounces or 180 milliliters of really hot water. Leave it to brew covered for 10 minutes. If you don't have loose leaf tea, then I would recommend two or more tea bags. You can experiment over time to figure out your preferred tea strength. While the tea is brewing, in a 500 milliliter bubble tea shaker, we're going to add our base ingredients. First, we're going to measure in two heaping tablespoons of the bubble tea creamer powder. If you happen to be in a bubble tea cafe and you are using an industry standard brown bubble tea scoop, then that measurement will be flat. So two flat brown scoops. Next is two heaping tablespoons of the almond bubble tea powder. The thing that I really like about almond milk tea powder is it has that really nice candy marzipan flavor to it. It's something really unique and very delicious. And finally, two flat teaspoons of fructose powder. If you're using fructose syrup, then it will be 14 milliliters. You can find fructose powder online, but I would also recommend trying sweetener alternatives like honey. When your tea is done brewing, carefully pour it into your shaker and stir until combined. ice all the way to the top. Put on the middle lid and the top lid and shake really well for one minute. If you don't have a shaker, I would recommend doing this last step in a very large cup and stir for about two minutes. We know it's ready when there's a really nice condensation around the outside of the shaker and majority of the ice has melted. Add your topping of choice to your glass. And for milk teas, my favorite is boba. Today, I've got 9.5 millimeter black tapioca pearls. Strain the milk tea into your glass and enjoy. And remember to hang on to this middle section while pouring so it doesn't accidentally come off. And today I'm gonna to be using my reusable glass straw from Boba, California. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, so, so good. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your time, your comments, your likes for the YouTube algorithm, and you as a subscriber. Click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.